the Wikipedia search widget. Wikipedia, as we know, is a free web-based collaborative multilingual encyclopedia. Here we present a simple way to search for relevant articles on Wikipedia using this widget and to publish them on users' websites. First of all, we go to the Content Manager. A dialog box shows all the widgets available. From the dialog box, select Search. From the drop-down that appears, select Wikipedia and click on the plus sign to add it to your web page. If you want to see your widget in a separate window, you can click on the pop-out uh, button to display the widget in a new window. There is also a search button at the bottom to search for widgets. On the web page where the widget was added, there are more than one widgets already present. To arrange them in a personalized manner, we go to the page layout option of the main menu. A simple to use dialog box shows panels that can be rearranged in a desired manner. They can be added horizontally or vertically by clicking on the plus sign. They can be deleted by clicking on the cross sign and resized by dragging the sides. Once satisfied, click on OK to save it. The selected layout is loaded on the page and the widgets can be arranged in the desired manner on that layout. To understand the Wikipedia widget, we will maximize this uh, widget so that it occupies the entire page. The Wikipedia widget provides a drop down on the left which allows users to choose one of the many languages in which Wikipedia article is desired. Enter the string you wish to search for in the text box beside it. This would display all the articles. The list is divided into pages depending on the number of matches. We can select how many links we wish to display on one page. Using the next and the previous buttons, we can go to the next or previous page. We can also go directly to the first or the last page. We can browse through the entire list of search results in this way. The search results can also be printed page by page by clicking on the print button. It gives a dialog box, a standard print dialog box from which we can print the page. There is also a slide button to hide or display the list. When we click on a particular link, it will open a pop-up window and display the relevant Wikipedia page. Close this to go back to the other features for now. The email button on the extreme left uh, will help you share the wiki link with a friend. It's as simple as entering the email ID, making any changes to the text that's already given and clicking on send. There is a save link button also on the left of the link and um, we can use this to save a particular link. We can retrieve the saved links using the open saved button. We will soon see the advantage of this feature. If we need to search for several items, for example, here we search for another string, we get a list of, an, of the matches. Here we will select two links which we will save using the save link button. Once saved, we will click on the open saved button to show all the links that were saved earlier. This save list can also be printed, emailed as before. The saved items on this list can also be, a particular item can also be removed. Click on the pop out button to see the results in a separate window. The save search results can be published now on the net using the options menu. The option menu allows users to publish widgets to their website using an automatically generated piece of code. The widgets can be published as a button by copying and pasting the given code in a web page. There is an option of email widget which gives the dialog box to send emails to a predetermined mailing list. The users can also uh, add the widgets to their favorites or send a feedback using a dialog box. They can also log into Facebook or Twitter and publish their widget onto one of these social networking sites.
all of this with just a few clicks of a button. The Wikipedia search widget is extremely useful and with a few simple steps you can publish it on your web page.